Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and this is the third video in the series on analyzing survey data in Excel. So in this video we're going to look at how to analyze our data with a pivot table. And the first two videos we looked at how to transform the data that we typically get as an export from our survey software. And this video we're going to look at how to actually analyze this data with a pivot table. So I have the results here of the pivot table I created based on the data and then also a chart that I quickly created uh, based on these results. So we're going to recreate this in this video. So the first thing we're going to start with is the unpivoted data. Again, this is the data that's uh, being export or produced by Power Query. This is the result of our query here. And basically we have one row, I'm sorry, one column of results and then another column with the entry IDs. So these are all the results from the survey right here. So the first thing we want to do is insert a pivot table. So we can just go to the insert tab on the ribbon and choose choose pivot table and then basically we'll just say okay that'll create a new sheet with uh, a pivot table here and all this is a very simple pivot table all we're going to do is take the results column and first drag it into the rows area that'll give us a list of all of our results and then we're also going to take the results field and drag it into the values area and that will give us a count of those results so now we can quickly see how many people uh, responded for each of these items or how many people selected each of these items in the survey and of course you can go in here and uh, sort this as well just right click sort maybe you want to go smallest to largest something like that so you can see that not many people chose beer which I think is a good thing especially if you're going to be working with Excel all day and uh, the most popular were coffee and juice so now that we have these results here we might also want to see some percentages of the total and for this particular example uh, I just use some calculations outside the pivot table to make it a little easier. So I know that I have a total of 20 responses. If I go back to my original data here, we can see we have a total of 20 entries. And basically what I want to do is just calculate the percentage of that total. So I'm just going to put a 20 down here in cell C9. And then I just want to calculate a percentage of that total. So uh, basically in this column here, I just want a percentage uh, of each of these totals of the total number of responses. So uh, you can do that, just equals, and then uh, we're gonna choose cell B4. If you get the uh, get pivot data uh, formula inserted here, you can actually quickly turn that off. If you just select a cell inside the pivot table, go to the analyze tab or the options tab, and then uncheck this get, uh, generate get pivot data, that'll turn that off. So now here, I'm gonna say equals, and then uh, select B4, that'll just put B4 in there, uh, divided by, and then I wanna divide by C9. I'm gonna hit F4 to anchor that down. So I have B4 divided by C9. Now since I have all these cells selected here, if I hold down the control key and hit the enter key, that'll automatically fill that formula all the way down for me. I also wanna quickly format it. Uh, you could press the, uh, basically the percent style right here, or use that keyboard shortcut Control shift uh, five, we'll do that and uh, quickly uh, format that with a percentage style. So now that I have all my percentages here, now I can quickly see that, okay, I had 10% of the people that responded uh, chose beer and 55% uh, chose coffee, 60% chose juice and so on. So I might wanna quickly create a chart off of these numbers right here. So I'm just gonna select those numbers go to the insert tab on the ribbon here and I want to choose uh, this bar chart right here just a simple bar chart like that and then the only other thing I need to do is uh, choose those labels so for the horizontal axis I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to choose uh, the label range right here and then hit OK and then I'll hit OK one more time and so now basically I have this chart right here uh, that shows all of the percentages for the results of the survey. And of course you can uh, apply some uh, data labels over here or you can just choose one of these chart styles from the design tab up on the ribbon. I chose something like that and just cleaned it up a little bit to make it look nicer. But that's basically a quick way that you can analyze 
this survey data and present it in a nice looking chart uh, using a pivot table to summarize it and then using some formulas to uh, calculate the percentages. Now, of course, there are a lot of different ways to analyze survey data in Excel like this. You might want to uh, get some other types of responses or see some other results from this to answer questions. And you could do this a lot of different ways. Uh, in this video series, I wanted to show some different techniques and tools that you can use like Power Query and pivot tables to make this process a little easier. Of course, you could have done the whole thing with formulas as well. There's many different ways to do these types of things in Excel, but this should hopefully give you some insight on how you can use these different tools to help make these processes easier and a little more efficient. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.